in this lecture i will show you how you can calculate the center of mass and center of rigid center of rigidity and this center of mass and center of rigidity is used for many purposes for calculating eccentricity for calculating different checks so how to calculate the center of mass and center of rigidity first of all i will give the brief idea what is the center of mass and what is the center of rigidity center of mass is basically the whole uh, mass of the structure is acting which location so for example this is a structure with six columns here is some uh, concrete wall and here is also concrete wall so the overall the center of the mass of the building for example at this location it's coming at the right center but uh, uh, most of the time or in the real structure uh, it vary uh, from location to location so here for example in this structure here is the center of the mass and here is the center of rigidity rigidity means center of stiffness means the whole structure rigidity point is acting at this location means it may vary for example if you provide a, a number of uh, shear walls on this side then the rigidity will shift and for example if you provide at any floor level for example on this left floor pa panel you provide machines heavy machines so then the center of mass will shift towards here so that's how these two things vary from uh, building in, in different uh, locations at some times they may come at the same point center of mass and center of rigidity for the regular structure but in real structure this vary a lot okay so here is the example what will what will be the effect of the center of mass and center of rigidity for example in this structure here is the center of uh, rigidity here is the center of mass and when the earthquake force strike then the heavier mass will try to uh, twist around the center of stiffness means center of rigidity point then the torsion will produce in this structure so that's why this is important center of mass and center of structure okay and how to calculate the center of mass and center of rigidity in e tabs so before running the analysis you have to make sure that you have assigned the diaphragm to all the slabs you have to select all the slabs sorry select properties slab section here whatsoever the slab are present i have selected all the slabs go to assign shell here a diaphragm okay that is i have already assigned i am just showing the uh, demonstration and now this is the view of diaphragm extent means the rigidity the center of rigidity of the structure lies here here at this location so in the geometry form or in the coordinates form what is the location we will find and it is the diaphragm extent you can remove and you can again re reappear okay so that's how you can see the diaphragm extent so in first thing the diaphragm have been assigned the second thing is when you go to analyze set load cases to run you have to make sure to uh, tick this option calculate diaphragm center of rigidity the software calculate the center of rigidity point okay now i will click run now or you can also click this button for run analysis you can see the analysis has been complete now i will go in the tables analysis results then structure results here is the option of center of mass and center of rigidity okay this is 11 story structure diaphragm for each story each floor level 
here is uh, mass uh, global x how much mass in the x direction how much mass in the y direction here is the center of mass the whole structured center of mass is of the 11th floor is uh, 16.26 here is the rest of for the rest of stories here is the center of mass in the y direction here cumulative weight in x direction cumulative weight in y uh, mass in y direction that is the weighted mean center of mass weighted mean center of mass in x and y direction here is the rigidity center of rigidity in x direction center of rigidity in y direction for example uh, in this structure this at this point that is 0 0 global x global y at what location in this structure lies the center of rigidity uh, the software pointing out the coordinates if you have not assigned the uh, diaphragm or if or, or another option this one option is not have been checked uh, then software will not calculate these options okay so that's all have a nice day